Good afternoon. Uh, with protocol already being established, I would just like to offer a few brief um, comments on behalf of the Minister of National Security, the Honorable Wayne M. Keynes, uh, JPMP, and also the Acting Minister um, Wayne Ferbert. Um, I would like to offer our congratulations and our, um, and our encouragement to all of those uh, prison officers who have been promoted today. We are appreciative of the hard work and the dedication that has gone into them reaching this accomplishment. Um, I'd just like to say two things very briefly on the topic of promotions. I always think that um, skills and interests are two very, very important things that help us as we progress within our careers. Number one, skills. Um, as I was a young person, there were many, many things that I found that I wasn't terribly good at. Um, I tried football, but I didn't have all of those skills. And I tried things like running, but there were always individuals that seemed to come out on top. And then I tried things such as music, but there were some people that just seemed like they always seemed to practice harder and they seemed to be more talented. But it wasn't until I got into the academics area and I got into the area of public policy and I started working for government that I actually saw um, that some of my skills were in the areas of management and leadership. And so I would say to you, Continue to focus on the areas of skills that you have. Identify those areas where you can really make a difference. And then the second thing is in the area of interest. You go so much further if you can find an area that you are extremely passionate about because it makes the time that you take in order to gain the appropriate level of competency seem like it flies by very quickly because of your level of interest and engagement. So for the rest of your time here and in your future career, I hope that you will continue to refine those skills and work within those areas of interest. Um, and we would like to offer once again our congratulations to you today. Thank you very much. Today is an exciting time for the Department of Corrections as we have my colleagues here who have taken up the baton to lead this department. As you will see in the program, we have had promotions in all ranks, from divisional officer to assistant commissioner. And I'll just give you a brief sort of summary of our promotion process. In 2018, we set one of our goals as completing the promotion process. The last officer promotions were in 2014. After receiving permission to proceed, the process began in March of 2018 with the Assistant Commissioner of Operations Post that was recently made vacant through the retirement of former Assistant Commissioner Kenneth Kahn. Following a promotion process that it included a presentation, interview, and an in-depth review of service, Assistant Commissioner, former Chief of Courts and Security, Philip Downey, was selected as the successful candidate. He was promoted effective June 1, 2018, 2018. We would like to thank former Commissioner of Police, Mr. Michael De Silva, and Director of Court Services, Mrs. Gina Hurst Mabry, for assisting in this process. The promotion process for Chief Officers was similar to that of the Assistant Commissioner. The successful candidates, Chief Officers Ryan Balberta, Sandra, Gr Sandra Gomes, apologies, she's not here today, and Dwight Richards were selected for promotion effective October 1st, 2018. We would like to thank Assistant Chief Fire Officer Dana Lovell and Principal Customs Officer Charmette Porn for their participation on this interview panel. Moving on, we had the promotion process for principal officers, which included successful completion of the promotion qualification exam two, interview and review of service. 
the successful candidates, Principal Officers Diani Farbert, April Ming, Gladwin Simons, Renette Thomas, and Scott Turner, who unfortunately is, is home with his child, were select, child sick, were selected for promotion, also effective October 1, 2018. We would like to thank Bermuda Police Service Assistant Commissioner Darren Simons and Divisional Officer Aaron Denkins from Fire Service for their participation on this panel. Finally, we had the Divisional Officer pro process, and this included the completion, successful completion of the promotion quali qualification exam, interview, and review of service. The successful candidates were Divisional Officer Quincy Keynes, James Codrington, Dominic Franklin, Darren Harvey, Darren Pitcher, Nelson Simons, Marvin Trott, Michelle Wilkinson, and Doreen Zuhl, and Derek Ingram. And their promotion was effective January 1st, 2019. Again, we had our colleagues who assisted Principal Customs Officer Edward Lambert and Manager of Case Management, Dr. Zena Woolrich, and we thank you for your participation. Although the process has been a lengthy and arduous one, I am sure it was worth the wait for those who have been promoted. Let me congratulate all of you who have been promoted, and my expectation from an operational perspective is that you will play a key role in carrying out our mission of empowering inmates to be responsible and productive citizens, and also carry out the, their respective role, <coughs> excuse me, as it relates to the Commissioner's Directive and our Strategic Plan 1820. From a moral perspective, you will be expected to not only display, display our core values of professionalism, integrity, respect, accountability, dedication, courage, and unity, but encourage the same from those that you are responsible for supervising and also those inmates in our charge. Remember, as you carry out your daily duties, for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall much be required. Luke 28, Luke 12, 48. Again, well done and congratulations. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Is it just me or do these folks look absolutely beautiful this afternoon? Don't they? Give them a round of applause. My comments this afternoon, I've only been given 45 minutes to speak, so I'll try to get through it as quickly as possible. I want to talk about three C's. I want to the officers in particular, I want to commend you, congratulate you, and challenge you. I want to commend, first of all, let me commend um, Acting Commissioner Kiva May Joe Benjamin. I've been on secondment now to the Ministry of Finance for a year, and in that time, she has ably and competently led this department for that entire time. And I think we owe her a round of applause for Joe Valdon. Valdon. She knows I'm very proud of her for stepping up. I want to commend you, officers, for having the drive and the ambition to seek upward mobility in this organization. That tells me that this is not just a job for you, that you have accepted the fact that this is a vocation and a profession and a career that makes a large and significant contribution to the wider community. So I commend you for not wanting to be somebody who just comes in, turns the keys, and goes home. So well done for having that drive and that ambition for wanting to be promoted up the ranks. I congratulate you for, one, going through the process, for successfully reaching the next rung on the ladder in corrections. Congratulations and well done for seeing out the process, for staying to the wicked, for going through the process and all the ardor that comes along with it. I congratulate you for taking on the mantle of your next responsibilities. And I'm proud of every one of you, individually and collectively. My biggest point, though, is to challenge you now that you have elevated yourselves to the next rank. So what, what next is in, in store for you? Some people have a school of thought wherein the higher up you go, the less work you have to do. That with promotion comes less responsibility and less demands. Well, actually, the exact opposite is true. With this promotion comes more responsibility more demands on your skills, more demands of you being leaders and not followers. 
I challenge you, therefore, to be a part of the solution and not just be a part of the problems. Every one of you who is now holds a significant rank in this organization. So I challenge you to honor that responsibility and to take the bull by the horns to lead this department through its next challenges. Those of us who have worked in other jurisdictions around the world will know that the Department of Corrections in Bermuda is a world leader in corrections. We are no longer a prison service. We are in the business of changing people's lives. And every one of you has a significant role in achieving our mission. Every one of you can ill afford to point fingers at somebody else as a problem. You are part of the solution. So I congratulate you, I commend you, and I challenge you. Part of your challenges will be, will be the call to make decisions in the heat of the moment, but given the fact that you now have acquired rank, you have to make those decisions. And I, I'm loath and reluctant to single out anybody for individual attention, but I think if I didn't do so now, it would be remiss of me. Years ago, I had to make a decision on whether to accept a late application for a certain individual, a potential recruit. And I found out that actually the department here had the authority to accept a late application. And I took a lot of licks because I accepted a late application from this boy. I didn't know this boy from a can of paint. He wasn't from St. David, so I had no, no favor for him. <laughs> Never met this boy before in my life. But he came here honestly and sincerely and appealed to me to accept his application. And I told him I would accept his uh, application on the proviso that he would make my decision the right decision. And since that day, this young man has proven himself to be an exemplary corrections officer. And he stands on this parade here today. Like I said, I'm loath to single out anybody for individual attention, but I'm extremely proud of everybody, but especially proud of Divisional Officer James Codrington. Well done, son. Well done. I use that as an example for you as leaders to make the right decision, not necessarily the decision that is popular. Make the right decision for the betterment and benefit of this department in particular and our beloved country in general. Well done. I'm very proud of you. The future is bright in the Department of Corrections and Bermuda as you look at these handsome and beautiful young men and women. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Janique Providence. I would just add my congratulations to those that came before me. We will now begin the process of presenting the PIPs. Okay, from the rank of Chief Officer of Security to Assistant Commissioner of Operations, Mr. Philip Downey. From the rank of Principal Officer to Chief Officer Courts and Security, Mr. Ryan Balboda. Our next officer is not with us today, but Ms. Sandra Gomes has been promoted from Principal Officer to Chief Officer of the Coed Facility. <laughs> next, from the rank of Principal Officer to Chief Officer of the Farm Facility, Dwight Richards. Thank <laughs> you. 
From Divisional Officer to Principal Officer of Training, Ms. Diani Furbit. From Divisional Officer to Principal Officer at Westgate is April Ming. From Divisional Officer to Principal Officer at Westgate, Mr. Gladwin Simons. From Divisional Officer to Principal Officer at Westgate, Ms. Winnett Thomas. Our next officer is also not with us today, but Mr. Scott Turner has been promoted from Divisional Officer to Principal Officer at Westgate. Next, uh, from Basic Officer to Divisional Officer at Westgate, Mr. Quincy Keynes. <laughs> From basic officer to divisional officer at Westgate, Mr. James Codrington.
<laughs> From basic officer to divisional officer, Mr. Dominic Franklin. From basic officer to divisional officer at the co-ed facility, Darren Harvey. From basic officer to divisional officer at West, Westgate, Derek Ingram. From basic officer to divisional officer at Westgate, Darren Pitcher. From basic officer to divisional officer at the farm facility, Marvin Tribe. From basic officer to divisional officer at Westgate facility, Michelle Wilkinson. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. I got a sorry. Okay. Am I here? Right here. From basic officer to divisional officer at the co ed facility, Do Ms. Doreen Zill.
And last but not least, from basic officer to divisional officer at Westgate facility, Mr. Nelson Simons. Once again, congratulations to all, and um, Acting Commissioner of Corrections will give closing remarks. I didn't intend to give closing remarks this afternoon because I, I wanted the celebration to be about my colleagues here so that you can get time, they can get their pictures taken, they can get time to spend, to spend with you. However, as I looked over and I see these young faces, many who I had to go up to training school, wherever training school was at the time, and give a lecture. And this is our future. It doesn't stop here. This is one of many more. And I just want to say to you, you are the future of this department. We have a number of our senior staff who will be retiring within the next year to five years, we're getting, including myself, getting older, and have to move out and make way for our younger staff. So I want to say, you, say to you again, please take up, you've already taken up the baton to lead this department. I expect you to lead it with pride and dignity and honor, and do the best that you can in whatever role you play. Again, to the guests that have come today, I want to again thank you for coming, thank you for your support, heads of departments and family, please support your family and your friends that you've come to see today. Thank you again.